Hi there, my name is Martin Moroni. I'm the driving force behind Joyful Pop-Up Weddings in Sydney. A strong feature, maybe the defining feature in a pop-up wedding as delivered by us is the marriage ceremony. Our marriage ceremonies are truly wondrous. Now most brides and grooms, uh, when they start thinking about their marriage ceremony, know very little about the actual ceremony itself. But I can assure you that the, the jewel in the crown of your wedding day should be your marriage ceremony. If you have a wonderful ceremony, you, have, you develop wonderful relationships with your guests. I mean, I like to think that we're putting on a show about the two of you giving social recognition to a marriage that already exists. And I like to think that your guests are now the audience to this show that we're putting on. So what's in the show? Well, the legal marriage ceremony is 112 words. That's all has to be said. I say this, you say that, minute and a half, two minutes, it's all over. By the way, you don't even have to know the witnesses. It could be two people walking by in the street. It's extraordinary. So what can we do in your marriage ceremony that makes it extraordinary? Well, the ideal marriage ceremony is 25 minutes. So in the 23 minutes that isn't legal, what do we put in? Well, it's completely up to you as a bridal couple. We design a ceremony with you that feels completely you. Afterwards, people will be saying, do you know that ceremony was really them? We really got that. And I like to think that what we're doing is we're getting your guests there, your audience, to feel that they're actually participating in your ceremony, actually participating in your marriage. They're not there just to witness what's going on. Actually, by contrast, if you got married in a church, the highest value in the church is God. It's all about God and your relationship with God and the congregation's relationship with God. It's essentially not about you too. At your marriage ceremony, the pop-up wedding, you are the focus of our attention. Now, you can do wonderful things in your marriage ceremony. You can involve lots of people in clever ways. The more involved you get people, the better it is. The more they feel honoured, the fonder they feel of you. They feel like you, you've made them really special. So, what sort of people are we talking about? Well, we're talking about, um, what about your best friend who's come all the way from England to uh, participate in your marriage ceremony? Uh, what about the girl who thought she should have been your bridesmaid? What about your mum? You know, what about your dad? How can we weave them into the ceremony? And when, by the way, don't forget your cranky religious Aunt Ethel, you know, the one with all the money. How do we weave her into the ceremony so you stay on side with Aunt Ethel? All of these things we can do. At the end of this, our aim is that at the end of your marriage ceremony, people will be saying to you, that is the best marriage ceremony that we've ever been to. It was fantastic. And years after your ceremony, people will be talking about your wedding day. They will actually be talking about your marriage ceremony rather than the whole day because it was the marriage ceremony that really got to them and touched their hearts. If all this interests and excites you, give us a call. Thank you very much.